guys. So today we are doing a 9 DPO update and some weird things have been happening this week. So, but it could be partially and I will say before I say any of my symptoms, I've been having an issue with my wisdom teeth. I was supposed to get them out. Um, it was the week of the hurricane and then they shut everything down and we were gone. So I couldn't get them out then. So now they're scheduled for a couple weeks from now. But like one of them is giving me an issue right now. And so I didn't know if like some of these things were because of that. Cause I'm like, maybe it's like infected or like, I don't know. So anyway, now I'll just go into symptoms and stuff like that. Everything kind of started about six DPO and today's nine DPO. So, but six DPO was the first day that I noticed anything different. Otherwise I felt totally fine, normal, great up until then. So the first thing that I noticed, and guys don't judge me, don't judge me, but I was at the gym on six DPO and I'm like on the elliptical, I'm doing my thing. And all of a sudden, like, I just, I couldn't stop thinking about fried chicken. I just, I needed it. I didn't want to work out anymore. I wanted to stop and I wanted to eat fried chicken. And this is not even something I eat often. I like it. I mean, I've always liked it, but I needed it. So my workout was short and I went home and ate fried chicken and it was great. But another thing along the lines of like working out and all that stuff, the past, this past week, which started at 6 DPO, I just haven't been able to keep up with my normal workouts at all. I've felt exhausted and I just can't. I couldn't push my body to do what it normally does and there was really no reason for it. I worked out all last week fine. I didn't do anything crazy this weekend, um, but I had to really, really tone down my workouts in order to get through them. And then yesterday I didn't go at all, so. Yeah, 7 DPO, I don't know what happened. I don't really remember anything else. Um, but 8 DPO was yesterday and we were driving back. We were driving across town and James was driving. I was sitting in the passenger seat and I was like, I was sitting there and I was like, James, I might have to throw up. Like, I really don't feel good. I really feel really, really sick. And so he was like, well, tell me if you need to. And I didn't, but I felt awful. I mean, I really thought I was going to throw up and that's not like me. Also yesterday at ADPO, we were sitting in the basement and my arms and my legs started cramping, kind of like growing pains and just kind of came out of nowhere and it lasted a couple minutes and then it was gone. Um, but I mean the past couple days I've been working on the deck with James and also with the neighbor doing some Christmas projects so I've been using saws and drills and like <laughs> all sorts of things which is probably great. So I didn't know if maybe that was just something random from using my arms and legs so much or I don't know. And then today at 9 DPO, the only thing that I'm really, besides the other things that I'm also experiencing, and I'll go through a list of stuff that I've been experiencing all week. Um, but today something new is that I'm having cramping in my lower back and that's not usual for me either. Again, I have been working outside doing a lot of stuff and that could be because of that, but just something new and different. And then all the other things I've been experiencing, because I feel like it's been a, it's so much stuff, but a lot of this can be explained in all sorts of different ways, but um, I've been insanely tired, which I told you, like, even working out and stuff, I just can't do like normal, and I've just been, like, at home, I just want to sit. I don't want to clean, I don't want to cook, I don't want to do anything, I have zero motivation, I just want to sit, which is really hard when you're a mom. I've been smelling everything, everything smells weird or strong. Like yesterday I walked into our downstairs and it smelled like it did when we moved in. Which, when we moved in they had a bunch of plugins in the walls and I took those out eight months ago when we moved in and it still smelled like that. I haven't smelled that since like a week after we moved in. So I don't know why I could smell that yesterday. I've been incredibly bloated, like ridiculous, but I have been eating worse. So I've just been like, Bad, bad. Ever since ovulation, it just never went away. I just stayed really bloated. I've been really thirsty and I'm always a kind of thirsty person, but it's been a lot more the past couple days that I've been very thirsty. And then also I'm sure because of this, I've had to pee a lot more. So like even in the middle of the night and stuff, which I don't wake up anymore to go to the bathroom like that. And I have had to the past couple of nights. And then the last final thing that I'm sure James can attest to is that I have been so moody the past two days. So, so moody. And it's weird because 
It's like I have really high highs. Like, oh my gosh, I love everything. I want to like happy cry. And then the next thing I'm like, oh, I hate everything. You guys are the worst. So yeah, my emotions are everywhere right now. So this was very different than what I experience a lot of months. This is very intense. So I don't, you know, I don't know if I'm just having a weird month and like there's just so much stuff going on with us trying to fix so many things and like, I mean, we've been so busy. There's been stuff going on constantly. I'm exhausted from all of that and just overwhelmed with a bunch of things right now. So I don't know outside stresses, my face being jacked up, it hurts. If I'm talking funny, it's because this whole side of my face hurts. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know guys, by the way, I am going to the dentist tomorrow. I just, yeah, but they had to get me in and tomorrow was the soonest I could go in. So yeah, anyway, yeah, so it's just been crazy. It's been crazy. So I don't know if this is possibly pregnancy related or not, but I hope so. And I'm feeling really very, very, very optimistic this month. And I also, something that, you know, since ovulation, it's been like my body feels, I don't even know how to describe it. It feels really good. Like it feels, I don't know how to describe it other than balanced, but that doesn't really make any sense. I don't really know how to say what it feels like because I don't really even know what it feels like. It's just, it, everything feels like it's okay. Everything's good. And even just in general, like my entire outlook on everything right now is just like, everything's going to be just fine everything's gonna be great. And I don't know why I'm so, so optimistic right now. I'm always a positive person, but this is like, no, everything's gonna be great. You just wait and see. And I don't know why. So I am optimistic. Um, and I hope, I hope it all works out this month, but hopefully I'll test Sunday. That's 12 DPO. I doubt I'll be able to last that long, but we'll see. So Sunday at the latest. <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's everything that's going on today at 9DPO. So let me know your 9DPO symptoms or what you experienced before you were pregnant or whatever. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing great. I'm praying for you and I'm thinking about you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.